What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com and I am officially in the Bay Area here, Mountain View, California for Google I.O. 2018 tomorrow. And tonight I wanted to make a quick video talking about three things that I wanna see from the Android P beta that's gonna to drop tomorrow. Now I've been running the developer preview one of Android P for the last couple of months since it dropped, as you guys can see right there. And I've made a couple of videos detailing my thoughts, which I'll link below. And I expect Google is going to elaborate on a lot of things, possibly change a lot of things, and I want to talk about those today. So the first thing I really want to see from Google tomorrow is some explanation about why they made some of the changes they did, particularly to the drop-down quick settings menu. For instance, now when you long press on your Bluetooth devices or long press on your Wi-Fi networks, it doesn't give you a pop-up little list right there in the quick shade. It takes you into the full settings menu. And I know a lot of people sort of had a problem with that. And it seems like a functionality change for the worse. Hopefully Google will give us some insight into that. And then also I'd like some justification for this new volume slider on the side. While I definitely like the fact that you can change the different types of media output, etc., using the volume slider and also the little calls for mute, ring, and vibrate, I don't necessarily like this side positioning because it's a little bit awkward. And I'm hoping Google will give us some insight into why they changed that, why they moved it there, and what the reasoning is. They're usually pretty good about justifying their design choices, and hopefully they'll talk about that some more tomorrow. The next thing I'm really expecting to see is more about Material Design 2. So if you guys haven't heard, Google's been working on a new version of Material Design, which is set to feature the rounded corners that you see, for instance, here in the quick setting shade. And another really great example of Material Design 2 is in the Google I.O. 2018 app. All of the menus and everything in here have rounded buttons, rounded corners. For instance, if you go in to reserve a seat here at the session, you notice the rounded corners on the dialog box that pops up. Even the button here that asked me if I want to swap my reservation also has rounded corners on it. This thing with rounded corners and white space, you know, white space everywhere, sort of empty space, which we also see in the quick settings menu. We also see quite a bit of white space, empty space in the settings menu itself, but that's been there for a while. We also have these new little pops of color. So it seems like colorful, lots of wide open spaces with some pops of color and definitely rounded buttons, rounded corners everywhere. Hopefully we're gonna find out the full rundown on material design too. And I'm assuming we're gonna see that in all of the Google apps starting tomorrow and going forward and also see that in other developers apps as we move forward. The last thing and perhaps the biggest one of all is gestures. So this has been sort of previewed by many outlets, but the iPhone 10 has these gestures that basically allow you to navigate your phone without the need for having all of these buttons on the very bottom. And actually this was leaked a while back from a build that was running on a Googler's phone that Android P might have this new design where you have this vertical bar at the bottom, very similar to the iPhone 10. You see the back button. The recent apps button is missing there. This was detailed by 9to5Google, Stephen Hall. And you can see it looks a little strange. Um, you're gonna probably swipe up to get into your recent apps and then exit, swipe, long swipe to go home. And it's gonna be different than using a recent apps button. This is what your home screen might look like with the new gesture navigation. So this gesture navigation could be very similar to the iPhone 10, and I definitely expect that we're gonna hear about this tomorrow at the Google I.O. keynote, get some more information. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it yet because let's be honest, the navigation bar is one of the core features of Android, and it's something that we've enjoyed for many, many years now. So I'm gonna be a little sad to let it go, but if it increases productivity and it's a lot easier, I'm on board. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So those are the three things I expect to see for the Android P beta tomorrow. Of course, I'll have a full rundown of the Android P beta here on the channel tomorrow evening if you guys want to check it out, along with a bunch of other Google I.O. coverage, which I hope you guys will come back and enjoy. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. You can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The links in the description. Also find me writing over at gadgethacks.com where I write about Android. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon if you want to see future videos like this this week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.